Yeah, it really will not let me use resources from there. Alright, so that'll make me sob. Let's... I think it's corn patrol time. Let's grab what corn we can, because it's... We need some more milk. This is some super epic music. This does not belong in the chill playlist, but I'm not going to complain because it sounds pretty cool, actually. But yeah, I think... I think it's about time that we make, like, an actually decent-looking car. And give it some extra features so that it can mine better. Mainly thinking the ability to angle the drill up or down, possibly just by angling the car, like the the way the car is angled. Because the main problem is bottom bottoms out a little bit. So being able to raise the uh, raise and lower the main body and like angle the tires could actually work really well for me. Definitely a second drill. I've been kind of holding off on it because they're expensive, but at this point, I don't have any excuses. In fact, I, it'll just make my life easier. Okay. Yeah, let's keep grabbing buttloads of plants, because I apparently need to make plant paint. Do you think they made welding better? I actually have no idea. I haven't welded a damn thing since I started. Uh, the welding welding tool is a little pricey, and I'm a little lazy. I'm seeing a lot of mining opportunities back here, so... Should be good. And some more corn. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of mining back here. Let's see. That should be good. So we'll come back here later. At some point, I will have to go to town on some trees for a while. But that'll be okay. Yeah, it's it's time for, for Car V2. I like what we've got. Janky Piston mo Mobile. Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm going to use a whole lot of pistons. I think I'd rather use controllers more than anything else. Uh, did this work? You worked. Holy shit. All right. All right. I've got corn aplenty. fed forever. Well, not forever, but for the rest of the night, if we're lucky. We'll see. I've got some time. Uh, let's see. Cow's got some colon issues. I'm not sure if it's going to be colon issues, but I feel a bit guilty. I, uh, over the last year, I've been p trying to pay more attention to my environmental impacts, just because. And one of the major steps that I did... Oh, can you just tell it to make infinite of something? You can. That's lovely. Let's see, how many more upgrade kits do I have? Seven. So I should... Eight. So I should probably stop spending them. But you can actually tell it to make an infinite amount of something if you if you really wanted to. That's a plus. Alright. So I was going to work on fuel tank. Fuel tank. Alright. So one gas canister. If we're lucky, what I can do is... Just go to what I already have and just hook it out hook it up out in the middle of the water and yeah just collect infinite fuel and just come back to it every every once in a while let's see that's another question what do better seats do 
haven't looked so far. Uh... Don't know. One way or another, I can't actually make a better seat. I, I can make a saddle, but I can't use it to drive. Main problem is we haven't found cotton yet, so there's really no no point in messing around with those yet. I would like to make a better seat, though. All right, let's go see if I can get infinite fuel. I got a better seat from one of the chests. I did, but it's a seat. That's the problem. I need a driving seat as opposed to a seat seat. Okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Really? there. Switch that. That should be hooked up. Grab the button. Does this not work? From my experience, it doesn't need a power source. Alright, let's go over to one of these that actually has some oil still on it. Oh. It holds gasoline, not oil. Son of a... But, so that means I have to manually harvest this stuff? Con oh, right. That's the... That's the unbreakable clam. No, it shouldn't be a water container. Yeah, pump it into a craft bot. To auto refine? Yeah, might be able to just use a chest. Okay. I'm gonna go back. I'm not defeated. But let's let's go see what would be required to make another big chest. Cause yeah, I really, really want to be able to just auto create oil so I don't have to manually harvest it every time. I can deal with it with the glue, but anything that I can automate, I want to automate. Okay, so I need five more parts and more glue. Ah, so I gotta go kill some robots. Uh, less attractive prospects. I guess I could just snag this chest. Interestingly enough, this chest is actually not as helpful as it was. This this is the important one. 
so yeah, let's let's give this a go. Animals in this game reproduce. No, but they do spawn just kind of randomly, and stand around your base demanding more carrots, and then looking kind of sad when you do not bequeath upon them more carrots. Okay, here we go. Put that there. Should be good. Okay. Damn it! At least we know you can pump water into a chest without a water container. And maybe when it... Maybe when it respawns, but like... Uh, gosh, there's got to be a better way to get fuel than this. Maybe it's not close enough for the oil, oil node. The problem is, I think it would just get water no matter what. Is there a different type of pump for oil? Maybe? I. It's very clear there's an amount of the tech tree that we have not found yet. There we go. I'm gonna grab the water out of that. We are gonna need the water for other things, so it's not it's not the biggest deal, but it is sad. Okay, so I need a lot of this stuff. Let's start making that. This will finally get us the cook bot, so we can finally look in some things. Yeah, max level cook Oh, but we can't because uh, I need more upgrade bits. I'm gonna store the spare melt, the fuel canister, the paint, these things. Just in case we run into another big bad. I guess it's not that big of a deal. If we did run into another big bad. Okay. You can check uh, water bottles at enemy bots. I wish you could. That would be really rad and would solve a number of problems. Unfortunately, hitting enemies with water is kind of already inconsistent. All right, none of the loot here is respawned. But yeah, it's unfortunately inconsistent and it is... Uh, It's inconsistent, like half the time they'll freak out and start sparking, and the other half the time they, they just, like they don't even notice. Um, and it doesn't seem to be like specific to one bot type or another. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, we've got that. Main problem is I've spent too many of these, so I guess I'm just going to leave the car untouched for at least a little while. Let's turn off one of the engines. Okay, good. Tires still spin even with one engine off. 
I'm gonna go to the flaming area. Because I know there's... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a bit. Uh, I know there's two trees that can be... Or not trees. There's two... Buildings that can be looted. And that area... Whoa! There we go. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to put that there. I don't think I want too much to do with it. Please tell me they did not break anything on my car. That's good. I want. I will want to make that a beefier vehicle. Interesting. And a bit of a shame... I can't break these with the drill. I guess it makes sense. But steel. Yeah, water only works on pitchfork bots and only from the bucket. But I've tried it a couple of... Uh oh. Okay, well, I found my big boy. What's up, big boy? All right, he's found me. Okay, does not work. It was worth a shot. Unfortunately, I think he's too big. Okay. Okay, there we go. He is loose. We have to take him the long way around the pipes. If I had spud guns, that would have been fortuitous, but I still don't... Still not know how to figure that out. Oh. Okay, so first question is, is he stuck? Doesn't look like it. Ow. Okay. That sucks. I thought I'd be safe. I was not safe. Well, my stuff is safe at the very least. So in that case... No, 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 you leave my cows alone!
Well, he can only kick me from here. Problem is, kicking hurts. Okay. He also can knock down trees. It's kind of neat. A lot easier than last time when he got stuck in my bedroom. Because this time he can fight back. So we can hit him. I No matter what, this is worth it. This is exactly what I needed to do. I know it takes 50 hits, which is a giant pain in the ass. Let's wait for my HP to come back for a bit. <sighs> Gosh, that does not look comfortable. Partly because the... Maybe the backpack, but also the belts? That's too slow. I mean... I'm impatient. He's gonna go kill the walks. I don't think he can. Yeah, it's probably better that I just repeatedly bull rush. But yeah, this is why I got him stuck in the pipes. Because I figured no matter what, he can't do anything bad to the rest of my base if he is just in here. Thank you, collision. Drive into him with your drill. He'll just break the drill. Like, if my car was less vincible then I'd be super down with it yeesh that guy sucks I throw bodies at it until it's dead does water do anything to him? nope But yeah, having, uh, having a spud gun in this situation would solve all problems. I'd need a shit ton of potatoes to actually take him out. What would help? A lot. Sneak attacks do times two damage. I don't think that's how it works in this game. Be hilarious if Wander's body didn't go away. That would be really amusing, yes. Yep. Alright. Got some circuit boards, got some upgrade kits. Not as big of a windfall that time around, but that's okay. That scythe is lethal. It's a pain in the ass, yes. But... We're okay. Alright. Well, we got what we were looking for. We didn't lose anything this time around. And I've got all of the upgrade kits I, I could possibly need to make Chef Bot. Finally. Unless, of course, I need more circuits, at which point I'm screwed. We'll find out real quick. Cook Bot. Damn it. Uh, let's see if I actually still have a stock of these things. I don't! That blows! But I don't know where to get more of them e- I know where to get more of them easily. It's just time consuming.
Okay. Well, you know what? Easiest way to get it. Let's go find my car. Now that he's out of the way, uh, let's go bonk. Let's go bonk some bots. I, I'm honestly a little blown away that we have more upgrade kits than we do just basic electronic components. Sucks, because there's no way to fabricate either. Like, I wish after a certain point you could just fabricate them with a blueprint. Maybe, maybe you can. Maybe that's the point of, like, NPCs or something, but... Alright, here's the car. And if we're lucky, our first donor of the day. More circuit boards. I kind of wish you could actually... Oh, right. Out of juice. And we might want to get a full-on fuel tank for this at some point. Okay. So we don't want to actually drive the car up in here. But that should be a good, good enough spot. Let's see. This game says it's in multiplayer. Is that true? Yup. Uh, I'm not playing multiplayer currently just because uh, scheduling is hard and finding reliable co-op people is kind of tough. At the same time, yes, this is co-op. You can play with friends. I'd recommend no more than... Uh, I'd recommend no more than... I'm gonna say, like... Four other friends? After after that, it starts becoming a bit of an issue. The game gets kind of laggy. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh, but it, it is very much a multiplayer game. The creative mode is real fun with friends. Can't say about survival. I think survival would be easier with friends because you could actually have somebody hanging out at the base doing base mom business. Which is kind of what I want to do. Because I've been spending all my time going out, in a, out on adventures, which, I mean, it's definitely enjoyable. But it would be a lot easier if I had, if we had one person back at home, one person mining, one person adventuring for upgrade materials, and so on and so forth. Like, having, having a trio or, like, four people to handle things would solve so many problems. Because I've pretty much given up on farming entirely. Imagine being that one dude stuck at the base the entire time farming. No, no, no. You don't realize the one person stuck at the base farming is also the, the person in charge of refining all the resources, building shit, and building the base. Which would include traps... Uh, vehicles to some degree. Well, everybody else is out gathering supplies. They'd be the ones, honestly, doing the most interesting things. And they'd also the one be the ones having to deal with the nightly attacks and some other stuff. Like, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys don't actually drop... Uh... These guys don't drop a whole lot of electronic components. They mostly drop this stuff, which is, like, scrap metal is nice, but it actually very quickly becomes kind of useless once you, once you unlock mining. I can just jump that. Well, that helps. Yeah, we're just getting component kits left and right, though. I mean, we need them. But I was hoping for a bit more. Variety. Oh, good thing I went back and double checked. Alright, let's go get the other one. I don't know how much or what we even have in the burnt forest. Two buildings. Maybe something over in here. Nope, just a lot of burnt wood. So, what are you going to do with the upgrade kits? Probably chuck some into craft bot. He deserves them. After that, mildly unsure. Okay. I don't think he dropped a damn thing.
Okay, there's one. Upgrade the engines? Maybe. There we go, there's another one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep trying to max out Craftbot as much as possible. He is... I'm not sure if upgrading him increases the blueprints that I can work with. I'd, I was kind of hoping every time you upgraded him, you get more, more tech to play with. But it looks like that might not actually be the case. Broccoli, chemicals, some other goods. Do we think it would be a good idea for me to go back to... the big islands area. I could. I hear something. Bouncy it. Because, yeah, we could go back over here and try and clear out the two regular buildings. Uh, you know, it's not a terrible idea. Because, yeah, if I clear out that building and that building again, we should get decent stuff. I got another broccoli, so I'm not going to starve. Get more glue on the way? Yeah, more glue and oil. Because we're going to need both, and holy shit, there's a lot. wander half an hour to figure out how to pick up buckets in this first episode. I mean, for starters, I was exploring. Also, I straight up have not played this game in three years. Do not, do not expect me to perfectly, to ever perfectly play anything on the first episode. I always get really mad at people, eh, mad, disappointed in people when they get really mad at me for not playing Peak. I was talking about this a little, uh, a little while ago, but I... I think it, when I woke up today, I had to ban nearly 12 people for just being little shits. Uh, we didn't need to be about just, like, how I was not the best player and how you should go watch Scrap Man or something. Like, shout out to Scrap Man. He's a cool dude, but that's a really rude thing to say to, uh, in somebody else's video. I'm drowning. That's a mistake. But, like, I'm a filthy casual. I own it. It's what I do. It's what I am. I'm not super into the whole, like perfect play every time, speedrun strats every day, you know, flawless gameplay. Yeah. That sort of thing gets real boring. Uh, because that means I have to play and study beforehand. And, I mean, I can understand why that would be attractive to a lot of people, but, like, that's what SGDQ is for. I'm not one of those people. 24 hour stream win. Pretty much never. I've done it th two, maybe three times. And, like, I'm nearly 30. After a certain point, it's just not worth it for me. I do 10 hour streams constantly. But, like, 24? No. I'll do that if there's, like, a really big charity thing that I'm attached to. But that's, that's the extent of it. I get I get requests every once in a while for it, but like you would you would really need to give me a good good incentive for a twenty four hour thing. And yeah, I think charity ah, I just bit my tongue. I think charity would be the extent of it, and even then like it's just not healthy for you, nor is it worth it. Every once in a while I hear about people doing like 48 hour, 72 hour, 96 hour streams and it's just like, don't do that. Like, uh, one of the, one of the people I met, uh, at Pobo, which was, I mean, I'm sure it'll resume at some point once, you know, the plague isn't hitting the US like a bag of bricks, but, uh, it's a... Portland Online Broadcaster Association thing. It's really cool if you do live in the area, but it's it's for streamers to uh, hang out and get to meet other streamers. I've met a couple of people. For the most part, it's not super useful for me, seeing as I've 
I'm well established and have been doing this for years, but for new people it's actually rather helpful. Uh, but one of the people there, uh, he doesn't stream himself, but he's the, one of the moderators for one of the biggest, like, Path of Exile streamer, streamers. And he was talking about the guy doing, like, hitting the world record for the most amount streamed in a month. And, like, all the things that guy had to go through. Uh, to... I'm not gonna say get it okayed, but, like... Gosh, this is so much easier. Holy shit, this is so much easier. Uh, let's see. We are just getting mad capping component kits. Not so useful on the other things. That's okay. Now I have at least one beat. And if we get really hungry, I can go find some cows. Sorry, walks. Yeah, it looks like component kits are the name of the game. I was really hoping I'd get some more electronic bits. Well, I got seven. I think we only need a little bit more. Okay. There we go. There's the circuit board. I wonder if there's an easy way to find a bunch of those little guys. Because it seems like the fork pots are the most common. Which is probably good. They've got the easiest pattern to work with. Save for the green bots. Problem is there's... I like... Just having a couple of green bots... More often would help. A lot. 